All right, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Here we go. Sealed. Let's reset our score. Oh, I just saw I will today get a package, a delivery, um, yeah, package, a delivery thing. And it's going to be my new PC. So it could be that my doorbell is defeating me again today because it is ringing and the time is running up. Hey, yeah, seal time for sure. So, guys, if my PC is coming today. Would you like to see an unboxing of my new PC? Or is that not any of your interest? The calm before the storm. Good luck. Guess we start with the rolling watcher. Boss is growing so fast. If he cannot remove him, this guy is really awesome. <laughs> you are fine with everything. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure if I if I should do that because I don't really have done that ever. And I'm not sure if it's worth it and how it's going to look like because I have just this webcam. I don't have a GoPro or something like that. Hmm. We could just try, <laughs> but I have no clue. Oh, we forgot to pass our turn. To Sorry. <laughs> Won't know till you try. Okay, okay. So you know what's coming when the doorbell is ringing and I got to go. I guess we are going to finish sealed then and then we are going to unbox that one. Guess the nightmare on that guy is a waste a little. But I guess we can get enough resources with that no loam naturalist that it pays off that we do it anyway. And we also can raise his face nicely with our bigger guys. Swordbreaker Sage, nice! So if there is no way to remove it, that rolling watcher is really rolling hard. Awaken. Oh, we got another one. I guess we just draw first. Carcass Vulture, yeah, we play that one. Run over that guy. Run over this one too, and we hit the face. Because we really want to keep our naturalist that's giving us our resources. Fertility idol. At the end of your turn, summon a copy of another random friendly creature. Oh, imagine it's going to copy our rolling watcher. Hack succession, okay. Oh. Good trade for us, I guess. My turn. I think we just drop another watcher. 
And we play the Sword Breaker Sage for some extra pressure. So I can really recommend that low naturalist if you have board control for sure, yeah. He's weak on the stats, but he's giving you constant value every turn. So if you can protect it, it's a huge deal. Ah, uh, gradual protector, okay. I guess it might be time for Avatar of Nature. A forest divided is destined to fall. Selena. Yeah, he totally gets rolled over by the rolling watcher and now by the carcass vulture. So we probably made a decent deck, huh? Looks at least so far. But yeah, he had no answers to anything, no removals. Maybe a removal would have turned out, or two removals, one of the Rolling Watcher in the beginning, and one of Holom Naturalist, and this game could have been very, very different. GG though, Ascension, GG for sure. Somehow, this song is again way louder than the last ones. That's what I really dislike about Petzl, that they don't get the audio levels in line. But otherwise, I love it. Okay, let's shuffle one Nightmare in. I guess two may be too much. We are going second, so... Oops! I took Selena's mark. I usually want to play Animal Bond. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> what a mistake. It's... It's an, an Amazon thing, I guess. The calm before the storm. Crap. I guess we are just dropping our big creatures one after another. Going for I think now it will be very hard to keep him under control. Or maybe not. Mm, his acolytes in his hand got now 2, 3. But I think it's not too bad.
We just play the riot or sign here, I guess. So we have maybe the opportunity to play these two next turn, or maybe of nature just. Golden Saber. What? My turn. East Fury Shaman. Interesting. But I guess we just go with that. Uh, take a look though. Ah, good. Going to one. Now we give those to Pagan. Yeah. Reasonable attack for sure. But I like my avatar of nature with Conan. Maybe the barbarian? Damn it. Can kill it. But with great loss. Can kill then our avatar of nature too. Ah, but we have another big card. So maybe it's going to bite. Go with Selena's mark and trade her. Then we play the Beast Fury Shaman and the must tame these beasts. I hope we can use and our wings soon. No, uh, I guess not. Or maybe right now and we hope he cannot kill our creature. Or we play annoying bureaucrat and I'm not sure yet, but let's play him first. We need to retain our god presidency. So this is your natural bond. First of So he is. Oh, he is, yeah, ready to kill him. Oh, it's a pain. Guess we have to play it anyway. We have no other creature, so... Never abandon hope. Nice just swinging into that guy and playing the higher loom, yeah. You trade him off. Yeah. But, on the other hand, he's down to seven. Oha! Nice top. A I accept. I know he can I heal said. for three, so he would be at ten. You know, he got a cursed Kaipora.
this is going to be pretty close, I guess. Your time is running up. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, Mary Catmoss. Giving my guy back to the top of my deck? No. I thought. Oops. He just wants the front line. I see. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we, we play it safe. He got cursed Kaipora in his hand and two cards we don't know. This is not the way. Box one trail marker, forest hub, Aquila. Hmm. So I guess we just go for face. We play the sophist. And not come on with number two, we pull the board and put him under great pressure. Oh, his Kaipora won't help. Got no blitz or anything. Just going to pick and lie around. Penitence! Ooh. This is a problem though. Now we can trade off big guy and one of the small ones. So we can barely not kill him. Low metal. Let's take a look where Selena's marks. That guy. Great, so we play the known metal. A sleep dart on that one. Place we going to We must mount a counter attack. So one of the his cards is the Cursed Kaipora, and the other one is the Echo of the Forest Hub Dryad. The third is the Poison Dart, so it should be GG. Yeah! Alright. Here we go. So, next round against Night Area. This time we take Animal Bond, not Selena's Mark. It was working last turn, but I don't know. Let's get the huge cards back in the deck. It looks alright, I guess. Let's keep it high. 
Ah, he's also playing war, so Good luck. the relic removal could be okay. Okay, I guess we don't have much of a choice than playing that guy. We could have pipped into one of those two, but these two are, are traded off easily by the face crawler as the animal bond is Fletcher is too, so... If he wants to trade him, it's still a good trade for us, since our creature was just one mana, his was two. Yeah. Good trade for us. Awaken. Mm, yeah, let's go with the Beast Fury Shaman. I guess he's a good option. Huh? If he's playing two creatures or one bigger one, we could trade by get getting him bigger, maybe. Whenever a friendly creature dies. Whenever a friendly creature. Game for Sila, welcome back. Nice to see you. Yeah, we play him. We trade him off. And it's going to be a 2-2. Two -two. And to make sure he cannot trade one of our creatures. This conditions we get rid of that. Now I must rest. Weekend ranked is bad, I guess. Yesterday we had just three wins. And as a reaction to that, we were making it down to solar gold and worked at our Amazon deck a little. We made it now a budget deck. And today it was okay. We got seven wins today, but we are just in, in Auric Gold or Solar Gold. I don't know which is the... We are at rank 10. So it's okay, but it's not great. And the new, new, the new deck is a budget deck, so... Take a look. We got 8 wins overall at the weekend ranked, and here is the new deck we built. It was working, I think, a little bit better than the last one, but I'm not quite sure about it. Ooh, we got a rolling watcher, so we trade here. So now we got two growing Game for Sila, have you played Weekend Rank already? How are you doing so far? So, with Amazons today, we tried to. My turn. Yeah. Get rid of. Hmm, all the stuff we. That is not Amazon. And so far, I think it's cool. I'm not quite sure if it will be good in in Mythic. But in Diamond it's all in gold it's alright. But yeah, I guess it's time to try something new. Different version. And if that works out. It will. It can get much more shiny than ever before. We could possibly get, I guess, to twenty-six diamonds overall. I guess the only thing we can not afford in diamond is is. How is it called? Notus Daughter. Otherwise, we could probably get anything. Let's go get him. I'm right behind you. So 
So I'm a little bit worried here. He got six cards in his hand and we just have our board. to kill my rolling watcher. Damn it. And now I cannot even kill her, so if you got another Natha, we have a huge problem. Oh crap. This was not how it was how they were supposed to attack. Oh, and now they get leech. I'm afraid we're going to die here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, guys, don't forget to join the giveaway for mobilized in gold. It's a donation from from Methusael. GG, I guess. Oh, we have no no comeback cards in here. I think. Let's take a quick look at our deck, though. Well, oh, Nightleaf Brawler could have been helpful. So maybe next time. Keep on playing and see what we top deck. But oh yeah. So that mobilized in gold is going to be given away as soon as we reach eight hundred followers. And we are already at 794. Hmm. Next opponent is Deception again. He is also playing that God Power again. Well, I'm not quite sure about the hand. Would be good. Isolation! Thank you so much for following. Hmm. Any suggestion for free-to-play players, like should we stack God's token, then use that to buy cards slowly and build a good deck? Yeah. Yeah, you should get a cheap deck with a good win rate, I guess, slowly. Make the deck full meteorite and then try to reach the highest rank as possible. I think that's the way to go. And I think there is one deck that is going to be uh, best for that purpose, I guess. That is Agro War. With Agro War you can build a deck at like, I think, $5 or maybe when you are going to one, the Woodcutter Imps 2. Maybe it's going to be around a little bit more than $10, but it's still a relatively cheap deck um, that is competitive. What I can also recommend, not at all times, and not completely like Agro War, is also Amazon Nature. But it's more expensive if you want to play it efficiently. I'm playing at the moment a $25 version of Amazon, which is pretty nice, but you could have better results with Agro War. And yeah, if you can get an Agro War deck slowly with your daily gods, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, and as soon as you have a full Meteorite Agro War deck, I think you can just 
try to get as many gods as possible to slowly grade your deck a little bit up. So to get a little bit uh, more expensive cards over weeks slowly, I think, yeah, it's also a good way to, to play the deck at first at the very, very cheapest um, option for like two or three dollars. And then you can slowly grind for your woodcutter imp. I think it's going to should be all right. So with that guy, yeah, exactly. Um, the shinier the cards, the more gods you get, and the biggest jump is when you get your deck full meteorite. That's the most important step. And after getting your deck meteorite, I would not grade your cards up anymore. Besides, if you go for diamond cards. Diamonds are going to have a great impact if you go for them, but shadow and gold not so much. Let's go with the avatar. Of Let's go get him. So, right if you have later on a good meteorite deck, and there are some cheap cards in there that you could upgrade to diamond for just one two or three bucks i think it's worth it over time if you plan to play gods unchained over a long period so the time bomb is dealing two damage to the weakest enemy creature this is going to be my walking plant so we can trade her off easily Hmm. Question is, what do we do with the walking plant first? I guess we just hit the amplification machine here. Then we kill the bomb. Next step is hoping for that guy hitting the machine. Ah, oh, and it is not. I don't like that, but have to do it. And let's drill. Is it really my job to prune back the garden? By the way, isolation. Thank you again very much for following. You are welcome community and I hope you're going to enjoy your stream. So that crystal rain was hitting pretty hard. I'm just glad we can refill our board easily next turn with our nightly crawler. So... Let's go with our smaller creatures for now. Hmm. By the way, isolation. Hmm. I'm going to whisper you on Twitter. Yeah, on Twitch, I mean. On Twitch. You can send me your wallet address if you want, and I can drop you some good war cards. If you want to build an aggro war deck. Or some Amazons, if you want to play an Amazon deck. Just take a look what you need, and we will see if I can get something. Yeah, yeah, for sure, really. Hmm? I'm always helping out uh, new people. Hey, what's that over there? 
just post me your wallet and I'm going to take a look what you have already and then I sent you some useful cheap war cards. Or Amazon, depends on what you would like to play or something completely different. What's your favorite god so far? Maybe Zombie could be a good budget deck too. But it's harder to, to grind that. There are, some, there are some good cards that are more expensive, like Perseverance and Necro Scepter, I guess. Yeah, that's a little bit harder to grind. I see, I see. I guess Agro War is really a good choice. It can the gameplay of Agro War can get a little bit um stall and Yeah, a little bit annoying over time, but I think it's really the best way to grind the gods tokens early on. Hey Otis, welcome back. Nice to see you. But that worm breath hurt a lot. Mm. Oh, weekend rank was not good so far. We played yesterday 10 games and lost 7. And today we were winning, I guess, six or five. Not too much. Weekend ranked was was really pretty bad. But yeah, we were uh, trying a different Amazon deck now because yesterday was so devastating. I thought we have to do something. And we were going from our expensive Amazon deck to a more cheap version that cuts Pyramid Warden and Underbrush Boar and Blade of Fight Plane. All the expensive stuff we threw out of the window. And now we just play in pure Amazon deck without any wild creatures or different cards. And that worked better than I expected. We had 7 wins today out of 10. But yeah, it's just gold, so I don't know if it's going to work in Mythic too. But we will try. We will try it and we will see. So... We can barely not finish him right now. But we have a ro ro rolling watcher too. Otis, have you already played your weekend ranked? How is it going? So, GG. I guess it makes no sense to lower your rank in, in Weekend Ranked, because the rewards will be smaller too. Yeah, Adbenato is right. Oh, Otis. 
then I wish you good luck. I wish you good luck for your weekend ranked. Let's go with Animal Bond for sure. Guess Avatar of Nature is too big. I'm not sure about that Carcass Vulture though. We are going first. So we could play Animal Bond. It's an idea. But it could get worse. Let's keep it. The car Let us fight with honor. So yeah, to maximize your rewards, you always want to be in the highest ranks, regardless of its weekend or not. <clears throat> oh damn it! That guy is good against my fetchers. Drawing him cards. Oh, Tavern Brawler. Yeah. Answer the call. Maybe I should have shuffled in more cards in. Or the mulligan. <laughs> Maybe even the carcass vulture. Mm. Awaken. And the wing. Okay. Yeah, I'm afraid he can trade now all of. Oh, canonize on that guy. Damn. So next turn is for sure time for lightning striker. Let's draw a little. Ooh, that's an aggressive guy. I don't know. Not too much we can do. Maybe the nightly brawler is going to be Amazon Heart. He should have traded that carcass voucher off first. Probably saying, Welcome back, nice to see you. Good morning, good morning. Oh, thank you. Frontline. 
Afterlife. You have two health. Do your weakest. Sure. Good morning, Vigis and DJ, and welcome back to YouTube. Good morning, guys. Nice to see you. So, what are we going to do? I guess the beam on that guy is necessary. No, we cannot survive her. Huh? We can trade him off. And then he can still do like 8 damage. Yeah, no way to survive that. GG. I have no wish to carve a path through you or your minions, Ao. Do not force my hand. And oh yeah, don't forget to join the giveaway. Oh ha! I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, probably sane. That you can make a great run. Have to go deception cheat as I have Dagon and two sharpens. Oh, this sounds and four relics. This sounds like a nightmare to every opponent. Yeah, for sealed, you pay 15 gods tokens. No, it's not free daily. You can play as often as you want sealed. But you always have to pay 15 gods to start it. Yeah, you have to pay each reset 15 gods. And you have to have 5 wins to get your 15 gods back. So it's possible to go infinite, but you have to be pretty good. I would recommend as a beginner not to play sealed. It's pretty hard um, if you don't know all the cards. You need a good feeling for the game and a lot of experience to get your gods back. Otherwise you are just going to burn gods. Dahlia too! Wow. No problem, no problem. I'm always glad when I can be a little help. Watch your back. I guess we start again with our rolling watcher. That one is pretty, pretty nice. He can carry us the game if he cannot be removed. Okay, let's kill his night league trapper. And we are just going to play our own. Burn it. Burn it. Ah, uh, better not. If you have a meteorite deck and you can grind like five gods a day, then you can try sealed. It's got just going to take you three days to get the gods back, so. If you have a meteorite deck and you play in gold or diamond or mythic in that area, you are going to get like 5 gods daily probably. And then you can try sealed I guess. But before I think it's more important to focus on getting your, your deck full meteorite. Mm hmm. Scarlet Thief. 
and an Amazon tightly. Okay. Oh, we are probably going to give him a useless relic. Take a look. Spirit Speaker Chime. After your god takes damage on your turn. Yeah, let's try that. Mm. Yeah, Ascension, Ascension, I think so too. It sucks, yeah. Mm. I'm not quite sure here. Great her off. Lightning strike her. Uh, lightning strike might be wasted, but yeah, it works only on their turn. So it is really not the best card in sealed. I hope we can keep our rolling watcher for a little longer. Intimidating Uplifter. Yeah, we can keep him a little longer. Here we go. Eight damage in the face. I hate getting my hands dirty. Oh, it's a good sign that he's using thievery. Dense fog. Hmm, this is all more useful. I guess we take the dead man's flail. Let's try to hit that. Yeah, nice. I think. He should be done. He will see. Ah, cutthroat in sight. GG, my friend. So then we need just one more game to. Uh, one more win to gain our gods back. Hopefully, we can do it. All right, here we go. Bond. Aegis Commander is too big, I guess. Poison Dart maybe too. And uh, these creatures are just so small that I'm worried about. Uh... Hmm. Do you know that the Star Store has Shadow Spring Bloom? Yeah, I know. I bought them too. Got it in my first sealed draft afterwards. Makes me feel pretty having shiny cards. Yeah, yeah. I know that feeling. Draw an Amazon, draw an Wild. Give one health to each Amazon and Wild. 
Buying 10. Oh, that's quite expensive, I guess. Buying 10. Okay. Let's try to keep on Gloam Naturalist alive. It is expensive to kill him like that, and it gives him a huge mana advantage now. But... Gold, though. Yeah, gold. Gold for sure. But still, I guess I keep on my, my stars. I would like to have one in gold too, but... Maybe there is next week coming a better one. So I'm hesitating. His cards are both confused. But we probably cannot keep our Loam Naturalist. Name one useful use to this card. Uh... If you play Amazon, Agro Amazon, and you fill your board and you see the next turn your opponent is going to have 5 mana uh, for, for Shaped Blast, then you play that to protect your board. I don't know, I don't know. Lead is hitting hard here. I'm wondering why he didn't trade off that one with that. Uh, I'm a little bit confused about how he traded, but I think he has reasons. We definitely need more creatures. We have just spells in our hand right now. Uh, he can kill our devouring golem. Avatar of nature. So the hunt is going to be exactly enough for that board. At the moment, GU is just playable on PC, but Towards the end of the year, they are going to launch mobile as a soft launch. I'm not quite sure what soft launch means, but I guess it's like a beta version or something like that. Just fury shame. Agrador border guard. Could drop both to the board. I guess it's good. An endangered species. Can get rid of that one pretty easily, but then we still got our two troops. Hmm. 
Incoming raid. Whoa. That's sick. Really strong. I hope mobile is gonna be good. I have played mobile already when they were trying to um, to when there was a test phase. And it was pretty promising, you could do a lot of stuff, and power wasn't working, and there was no deck building yet, but the playing was alright so far. And it's already a long time ago when they tested it, so I hope the mobile version is going to be awesome. And I hope they are going to get rid of the, all the bugs we have. Yeah, money to the maker, you are so right. I need it too. I need it. Yeah, it's you can play much more often with mobile, yeah. It's just um, much Until more flexible. <laughs> yeah, good morning. So, how are we going to deal with that? I'm afraid we are not. I'm afraid we are going to die soon. Let's try to draw a wild and an Amazon. I'm not even sure if I have... Oh, I have some. Maybe the Batchers are not hitting, so the Riot Blue sign has the opportunity to survive. You oh. are the just. And we just are missing one damage to kill him. Guess that Nightleaf guy is our last resort, but no. We are dying, huh? We are going down to two. And then... Yeah, we cannot even get to him. Damn it. Ah, we would have needed one win more to get our gods back. Yeah, GG, but I think our, our deck wasn't really the best, so it's alright. <laughs> Not so great, but let's try it again. The last five runs we did so were awesome. We had four runs with um, seven wins and one run with five wins. So this week is so far pretty good. And now we got one with four wins. So the first one since five matches, oh, six matches that we are not getting our gods back or even more. So I guess it's okay. All right. So let's take a quick look at our packs and reset our score. And then we are going to start another run. So. Hmm. Need to. Yeah. Guess. I always need to open the packs in my browser. I cannot open them in game because my game is always uh is always yeah refusing to to open packs it is then crushing the system always since the new pack opening experience all right now 
special in those four packs. No rare bounty pack. All right, bounty hunter thing. And we got two epic packs. Let's see, a Void Drake, nice. Intimidating Uplifter and Aggressive Superior. Not too bad, I guess. Tracking Bolt, Maze of Calling, Orgua Optimist in gold. And a Curious Wisp, nice pack for sure. Nice pack. All right, so. Okay, ah, so maybe I should give it a shot in the client the next time. Bernardo, maybe I should try it. <laughs> New pack opener is so bad. Yeah, I don't really care about it. Yeah, the golden card looks nice for sure. No, no, this is not from Weekend Ranked. This is from... Uh, the sealed we just did. We just won four games in sealed and lost three, so our sealed run is over, and then we get rewards. Main McFly, welcome back. The weekend ranked um rewards you are always getting on Wednesday after the weekend. Huh? looks already on the first glance here pretty decent mm, yeah i think it's a pretty playable pile of cards Bailed assassin marshwalker skullkin valkyrie all great one drops thump torchbearer wild hawk assassin's aim hunting trap ring bloom hunter Amazon Spear Soul we can play, Untamed Regrowth. Could also think about, about Tough Townsfolk and the Tom Torchbearer. Amber Arrow for sure, Trapdoor Assassin. Yeah, yeah, Wu, I think so too. Grassroots is awesome. Appeal to Mercy. Darkskin Warrior after this creature survives damage. Deal the same amount of damage to your opponent's god. I'm not sure about that one yet. But maybe we just play the Ward Vagabound and the Goblin Rally Boss. I guess we are going to use Deception with Sheet in that deck. Incoming Raid, Feral Shapeshifter for sure. Oh, Wetlands Ogre. 20 sided maze, maybe? Reflection elementalist. Penitent spear. Cyclops defender and golem centurion as a top end, maybe? The nether prince, what are you doing? At the end of your turn, obliterate a random card in your hand, then add a ru random rune to your hand? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Iron coppice. We can play for sure. Overproof brew can be awesome when you have some board. Synergy golem, good to empty board. Synergy golem. Three, three, four, synergy golem. Bro, if you control at least two other creatures, select two. Randomly one gains twin strike, the other can't attack. Oh yeah, he's nice to an empty board. How many creatures do we have say, that don't belong in our domain? One, two. Three, four, 
I'm also more neutral, so I'm not sure about the twenty sided maze since we have other weapons too. I don't know, I don't know. When we can gain Bert a, a bot early, early on, the rally boss will be all right. Maybe we take some more small creatures to make sure we take the bot early on. Maybe we need something at six mana too. In general, hmm. Double Dealer and Opalized Brutes are good cards, but they are, I guess, not for our rush strategy. Not ideal. Oh, but let's go. Nether Prince. He's pretty big though, with 7 8. Could pay off to play him. Hmm, let's give it a shot. But I guess. Money to the maker, I think you could be right. I think you could be right, yeah. But usually when you play light, you win it not through a certain win condition. Usually you just win over outvalue your opponent. But yeah, probably you are right. Let's replace the Nether Prince and the Reflection Elementalist and the Cyclops Defender too. But I think Marshwalker, Goblin, Rally Boss and Wetlands Ogre are all right. Hi. Inspector Gadget. We are often playing against Inspector Gadget in Sealed. So let's start with the Marsh Walker. Yeah, you did? Okay, I have just seen very, very few of it. Yeah, yes, I will be careful. And here is his first trick already, Jason Medea's Muse. This is already a sheep trick. Penny OP, for sure. For sure Penny is OP. So... Inspector, what are you going to do? Hitting my face. I have never seen the Inspector hitting anyone's face. I'm not quite sure here.
Maybe we just we just play the wild hawk. The face. Hide or marsh walker. Next turn we play incoming raid together with marsh walker. You cannot win against Inspector Gadget if he plays his Go Go Gadget mobile. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are going to have problems here. But it's it's all right. I'm fine with losing against Inspector Gadget. Go Go Gadget Copter, yeah. For sure. So if we play that on our Marsh Walker twice, it's going to be a 5-6. Five, a 5-6. Five, and then we hit Jason and then he can still kill him with all his stuff. So we might be better off playing it by this makes no difference it can still be killed hmm. auric rush okay but it's still not looking too bad. Oh, now the doorbell is ringing. I'll be right back. too easy. I'm running out of time. We march to victory. Oh. I'm back. Oh. Sandy, Oreos, thank you so much for the raid. 
and thank you for following. Guys, take a look at Sandy Oreo's channel for sure. I guess it's going to be cool. I have never seen Sandy Oreo streaming yet, but I'm sure I'm going to take a look soon. I'll leave you a follow, Sandy. Thank you so much for your raid and thank you so much for following. Oh yeah, the new PC is here and he's so heavy. Just lifted him up four floors and it's wow. And I was hurrying because of the game here, you know. We don't want to lose it just because of the doorbell. We had that experience already. So let's smash that opponent and then we are going to unbox that PC. I'm not sure how we are going to do that because it's just huge and right behind me is the green screen and even here in front of me I don't have much space. So we have to be a little bit creative, I guess. Hmm. So he got a cursed Kaipora. Hmm. And we are pretty much down with our life. Overproof brew. This is going to be good. Isn't it? We can kill her. Do you get better card draws with better PC? Yeah, for sure. Otherwise I wouldn't buy a better PC. I just buy him because of the better card draw. Yeah, isolation, I'm sure. I am also using my old laptop and it's getting so hot. It's getting so hot that I cannot... I just cannot use that anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Ascension. Thank you very much. Uh, I think when he's got no direct damage spell, he is done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope it's going to help with uh, streaming and so on. On a potato! Potatoes are also good to play with. But they are even better when you eat them. <laughs> oh, now we got a weak Cyclops Defender. So I guess we are just going to ping that guy away. We trade him off. And then we just take it slowly with the Vault Vagabound. Just in case he has some Godblit stuff. I don't use Assassin's Aim on Cyclops Defender. Oh, maybe though, maybe I should have just used it on uh, Vault Vagabound instead. Hmm. Penitence. Okay, then let's take a look at the opalized rules. River Jumper Captain, Revenant Links, Roar Refresh 2 Mana, I like that. Then we are just going to trade her off and hit his face. An Athlon X4, this sounds old. And a GT1030. I see, I see. So, what are we going to do here? Hmm. 
still enough for GU. Now that's all right. Develop the nature card and put it to your hand. Fucking Bronco, maybe. Oh, maybe that was crap. How can we trade them all off? We can kill her like that, maybe. Oh, or maybe not. Then we have to do it like this. Now we... Yes. Yeah, let's trade him off and play more creatures then. Fortnite, okay. Sounds good. Thumbs up for that. I guess when you when you play it uh, on on low resolution and so on, it should should be all right, right? So our confused guy is taking care of her. Then River Jumper takes another one. And I guess we just use Assassin's Aim on this guy right now. Next turn he should be dead. Hopefully. Ooh. Oh, GG Inspector Gadget, GG. So, we are here with one win, and yeah, I'm quickly interrupting uh, the stream for getting my PC in here. It's a little bit, will be harsh, I guess. If it is any comfort, I'm having serious GU problems as well. Initial all was fine, but suddenly my client would fail, lock me out after two games. With the sealed mode update, it even got worse. Now I'm down to 1-2 games. Oh no! Oh no! Have you tried to clear the cache and to uh, re reinstall the game? I don't know if anybody... Yeah, at the moment I have not much issues with GU, I gotta admit. But... I had problems too. Oh no! Oh... Damn it. When even the support cannot help, I, I don't know. Well, I'm sorry. Hmm. Maybe you could ask in Discord if anybody has the same problems. I don't know. Takes a few minutes for the client to reset. Wow, that's bad. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to take a quick break for getting the the pc here and i hope we can we can open that up i'm not quite sure how i'm going to do it because we don't have much space here yeah very annoying yeah maybe reinstall windows it's but well, that's a pain to reinstall windows isn't it uh Okay, yeah, maybe it's not worth it to reinstall Windows for that. Let's take a look. Is How is that scene? Ah, ha, ha, that scene is a little bit strange. But yeah. Maybe we make another scene. And we get our webcam in here. Holy crap. It's now a little bit, yeah, dark, but I'll be back. So, like this, and then we need to transform that a little bit. This looks all right. And on the left side. 
Ah. Okay. So guys, I'll be right back with my new PC and we take a look what's in there. Oh, so I'm back. It's so strange to be that big in the stream. Holy crap. And yeah, Nero, 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 thank you for following. Thank you so much. I have no clue how to unbox that. The package is just so huge and I don't have much space. Just going to take a look in there. I cannot get it on screen, I guess. Hmm, not completely. Maybe I can do it with the pops. Probably. Okay. So on top is, I guess. the motherboard and gigabyte one gaming x a x thing and there yeah they they put the pc already together so we have just here some some leftover parts like that and some screws and so on, so nothing special in here, I guess. Yeah. Oh, let's move. I have no clue though to where do I put I wish I had more space. Ah, so then we have a keyboard. Ta da! And this is still. So let's take a look inside. 
<clears throat> yeah, already put together, yeah. I just have to I have to um put in the graphic card just. That one is not put together uh, put in there because for shipping security reasons they wrote they cannot cannot get it in there, but I I don't don't uh I don't know how to um, build any PCs or something like that. I I could do anything by myself, I guess, except the the CPU. I wouldn't mess with the CPU, but the rest I could do by myself. But it was a pretty cheap offer for the stuff I have in here, so it wouldn't be much cheaper when I do it by myself. Well, this could be a little bit loud, I'm sorry. Maybe I just, while I open that, I mute it. So this feels really good. Finally, I have a mechanical keyboard again. And after years and years with a laptop, with a notebook, that click is so awesome. And it is mostly made of metal. I didn't know that, but the keyboard actually, not the, the keys itself, but everything under here is made of metal. And I didn't expect that. It was a pretty cheap keyboard. Yeah. Double as a doubles as a weapon then, yeah for sure. It's also pretty heavy for a keyboard, I guess. But I like it. I like it that way. So yeah. oh, okay. So in the next part of the unboxing will be harder. I cannot do that sitting here, I guess. I don't know. What is that? Ah, seems like this is the power plant, or however it's called. Hmm. In case of home invasion while streaming. Yeah, I, I usually haven't got that yet. Yeah, it's so heavy. Might be something in here. Ah, just a whole bunch of cables are left over. All right. Hello. One, let's put that together. There. Right. And I this is going to be the graphic cards. But I'm not sure. Yeah, main Mac Live for sure. It was necessary for streaming, I guess. Maybe not necessary to get an expensive PC like that, but Necessary in general because my my PC my laptop is not strong enough. So this looks like styrofoam wrapped in something. Oh yeah, that's a graphic card, and this one is. Wow, I've never expected to see a graphic card that big. I'm not used to. Uh, to that my my last graphic card I had was. And GTX 7000 7, something, and it was that size, around that size, and this one is huge. Holy crap. Take a look at that. Why? Why is it that huge? Uh, 
So that's the the GeForce RTX uh, 4090. Yeah, a map a weapon of mass destruction for sure. I don't know. This is way too huge, I guess. I have to I have to put it carefully uh, back and put it into the PC then. All right, and the, then there is just one big package with the PC itself. Mm. I don't know if I can show that. I, I try. I try to show it. Yeah, it is super big. I had to take a, a extra huge um, case to get it even in there. Whoops. So let's take a... Pause. Okay, I'm afraid I got to move out of the picture to show that. Oh. <clears throat> Holy crap. Oh, we were muted still, yeah. I, I was just saying it's just a huge, black and heavy PC. Oh. Yeah, and now it's here. And I gotta set everything up. They drain a ton of power as well. There are known issues with the power consumption, melting the connector to the GPU. So be aware of that. They have set... They have changed the design of the connectors, but not sure if you have an older or newer card. Diablo 4 during the beta had a lot of people, people's new GPUs die. No idea if they fixed that or not. So I would stay clear 
of Diablo 4, at least until they can check the issue is fixed or not. Ooh. No, the afternoon is not going to be that nice. I gotta go to work soon. In like one hour, I got to go already to work. Yeah. So, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to start now to set everything up here. And then I gotta go to work. I am working as a uh, prison officer in a prison. Overclock, modified connectors. Ah, thank you. Thank you for the link. Thank you so much. Oh, I think the, the unboxing was not that cool, wasn't it? Um... NVIDIA quietly upgrades the 12V power connectors on the newer RTX 40 series graphic cards. The new version that is safer to use and should prevent the melting connector issue that some users have faced. At this time it's unknown if newly produced 4080 and 4090 graphics cards utilize NVIDIA's improved 12VH power connector. Uh, I definitely have to find out, huh? So, yeah. There, I have pictures to show if you have the older or newer connect. So, the older or newer co I don't see the difference, actually. One picture looks just darker to me than the other. Well, one has... There are things that are a little bit more wow, up in the... Maybe I can take a look at mine. Let's see. This looks more like the old power connector, I guess. They have, on the bottom row, they have four holes that have their metal pins raised. I guess. Well, yeah, that's it. I think this is the old one, isn't it? It's not coming sharp. Focusing me, not the card. Metal pins are raised. So is that the old or the new one? I cannot really see the difference. <clears throat> The four holes have their metal pins raised. You can see in the image below via Igor's lab, four sense pins on NVIDIA's 40 are deeper into the graphic card's power connector. For the RT4080 Founders Edition, the offset is 0.45 millimeters, while the RTX 4070 Founders Editions offset 1.7 millimeters. Oh. 
Uh, I have no clue too. I am going to read about that, I think. Look, definitely like you had the raised pins. Unless you do serious gaming, I would honestly consider swapping GPU for last gen. Yeah, I have no clue. I will try that out, and if there is some something melting, I got guarantee on that. I'm just sending the graphic card back if there is something mel melting. So, I got two years of, of warranty, so I don't mind too much. I just have to replace that thing, and... <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. So guys, I'm going to start to set that up and maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe tomorrow we are already playing with a new setup. Maybe not tomorrow, but yeah, we will try, we will try. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're going to have a great day. And yeah, we are going to end the stream with a little raid. Let's take a look who is online at the moment playing GU. Gods Unchained on Twitch. Oh, nobody is streaming Gods Unchained. Holy crap. Who are we going to raid then? Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Isolation. Thank you. Goodbye, guys. And we are just going to raid. Uh, I think. Lou Remix in who is online Shaman F D H oh, I don't know. Let's take a look what Shaman F D H is doing here. I don't Splinter Lens, no, I don't like Splinter Lens, I'm sorry. No, no one is on with Gods Unchained though, this is strange. Bye guys, and let's go.